so today's video was supposed to be another hair video but this old twist out is like so bomb and just giving me so much life that I didn't want to wash my hair and I want to rock this for a couple more days even though it's old so I decided to try out doing a story time I hope you guys enjoy it. By the way, thumbs up this video if you want to know what products I use to achieve this style. Oh my gosh, look at this. Y'all see the definition? Yes. And my hair is so soft even though it's like five days old. gems welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'll be doing my first story time telling you guys how I found out I was pregnant um, I'm gonna jump right into this video because my son is sleeping watching him on this monitor and I want to finish before he wakes up so let's jump right in so I got pregnant November well I found out I was pregnant November of 2017 and just so that you know like this wasn't a oops pregnancy. I actually wanted to get pregnant. Me and my fiance had several discussions about having a child one day and now we were finally living together, no longer in a long distance relationship. And we were both working. I was finally working in my field in accounting at a, what I thought was a good company. You know, we were living together, we were working. It was like, hey, why not? You know, a dream of mine was always to be a mother and you know i was 24 at the time and i was like i got my own and we we're also you know in the process of purchasing our first home like things were going really well for us so it was like why not i stopped doing everything i was doing back then to prevent pregnancy and left it in the universe hands and so that was early october so now fast forward to november it was actually like a Monday. Monday. It was a Monday. I remember it like yesterday. Um, <laughs> the week of Thanksgiving. The Monday, the week of Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving would have been a Thursday. This was the Monday. Um, it was early in the morning. Both my, both me and my fiance work woke up. I was getting ready to work. Uh, I was getting ready for work. He didn't have work that day because he was off on Mondays, and. We got into a little disagreement. I don't even know, like for the life of us, we cannot remember what we was disagreeing about that morning. Like, I have no idea what it was, but I'm pretty sure it was something stupid and petty. But, you know, <laughs> we were both in the bathroom. He was taking a shit. Yes, we are that comfortable with each other. He was taking a shit. I was brushing my teeth. Like, there's no boundaries with us. It's crazy. I'm sorry if that's TMI, but, um, <laughs> We were having a disagreement and like I was just been like, you know, forget it. Like, leave. like keep in mind, we were not arguing, you know, we was not yelling at each other. We, were, we literally was having a disagreement about something. And I was just like, you know, forget it. Like trying to end the conversation. And he kept going on about, I guess, trying to get me to see it his way. And I remember, <laughs> all I remember is myself, like I was about to start brushing my teeth. And I just like, I charged at him and our bathroom was really small because we lived in a one bedroom apartment at the time. And I remember like charging at him, like literally about to hit him. Like I would have hit him if he didn't like dodge my hand. I remember charging at him and yelling saying, leave it alone, done. <laughs> like I yelled after him, say enough basically like, leave it alone stop i don't want to talk about it no more <laughs> and he dodged my hand and just watched me like whoa like what just happened and then i burst into tears and proceeded to brush my teeth um he didn't say nothing after that like literally nothing like it was just dead silence in the in the house after that and i finished i was i finished up getting ready for work in tears when i got to work i was a little early so i sat in my car in the parking lot and i was just bawling my eyes out like 
crying couldn't believe my action because i'm not i'm not that type of person like it takes a lot to get me to the point where i even argue with you or even want to put my hands on you because i'm just not like i'm not a confrontational person that's just not my character and <laughs> i guess he was shocked and i was in shock i was just like in the car crying feeling horrible because i almost put my hands on him and I, I remember taking out my phone and apologizing, texting him and apologizing, saying, you know, I'm sorry, I should never, ever attempt to put my hands on you, blah, 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 blah. Um, I can't remember if he apologized for whatever he was having a disagreement about. But anyways, <clears throat> that's, that's, that's what happened that morning. So now I'm at work and um, I'm at my desk in my office. I'm having a conversation with my best friends in our group chat. We have like a group chat with all five of us on Messenger, whatever. And like a week prior to that Monday, like every day that week, my back, my lower back was killing me. Like even that Monday, my back was killing me. So I was like telling them in the group chat that, yo, my lower back has been hurting for seven days straight like i don't know what's going on i looked at my period app and i realized that my period was supposed to come that the following week so i just thought they were like premature period cramps you know although i've never gotten period of cramps that advanced before my period come i hope i'm making sense or whatever it's usually like three or four days before but that was like a whole two weeks before so I was just like brushing it off saying, you know, maybe it's because my period come in, um, having these lower back pains. <clears throat> so one of my best friends was like, nah, girl, you should take a pregnancy test. So I was like, why would my back hurt because I'm pregnant? At the time, that just didn't make sense to me. <laughs> but she was like, just take one and see. You don't know. I was like, nah, man, I'm going to wait to see if my period come. And if it doesn't, then I'll take a test because I didn't want to get my hopes up. Excuse me, excuse me for keep looking down. I'm just looking at the monitor because my son, he would wake up, sit up in the bed and not cry and then proceed to crawl towards the end of the bed. So I have to watch it. Oh yeah, so she was like, just take a, just take a pregnancy test and that way you can rule it out. And then you will know your back hurting because of your period or whatever. So I was like, we went back and forth for a while. We talked about it for a while. It was like, I think we ended up all looking up pregnancy symptoms online and stuff. I think I looked looked it up as well. And then I finally said, you know what? Fine. When I go home for my lunch break, I'll take a test. Because I had like a bunch of these little cheapy pregnancy tests at home. And I was like, fine. I'll just take a cheapy one. Based on the results from that, I'll actually purchase a good one. So I went home on my lunch break. Um, me and my fiance was still kind of like at odds, so we wasn't really talking, talking. So I went home, I ate, I took the test, but I didn't want him to know I was taking, a t taking the test. And mind you, our apartment was mad small. It's just literally the living room, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom. Being that we had that disagreement that morning, I didn't like friends up with him. So I went, I think I ate my lunch in the bedroom. And then right after that, because it had a door to go from our bedroom into the bathroom, our, be our bathroom had two entries. So I went straight into the bathroom and took the little cheapy test. So I dare sitting down, waiting to see the results. When I look at the stick, I see the faintest line ever. Like the line was so faint, but it was there. Like I could see it, but it was faint as AF, you know, so I was like, oh man, I gotta be seeing things. So, <laughs> um, I remember putting it up in a piece of paper towel and putting it in my bag. And when I got back in my car, because I had to go back to work, I lived like, let's say, seven minutes from work tops at the time. So, um, when I got in my car to go back to work, I took it back out my bag and took a picture of it and said it to <laughs> posted in my group chat and I was like I don't see a line here or is it just me and mind you the picture was probably even the line showing up in the picture was probably even worse because you know camera couldn't pick it up as good as you can see it in person 
so even my cousin was like yo it's like there but not there that type of way like it's the literally the faintest line so i was like you know what fuck it i i ain't gonna really you know take that test serious i gonna wait and take a next one later i went back to work of course like my mind's still on this test, you know, so it's hard for me to focus on all. I was just so happy when 5 o'clock reached. I went home. By this time, um, you know, me and my fiancé was more better on speaking terms and I like, uh, love you, love you, or whatever. But uh, <laughs> I took another cheapy test and the line was darker than the first one still light but darker than the first one i i saved all of them because i wanted to compare them i was still in denial though so i was like damn um i don't know so i there in the group chat talking to my friends and i was like yo i think i'm pregnant like for real they was like just go walmart and get an actual test so you know for sure actually i lie on my way home from work that monday i actually went and bought an actual test I got one of, I think it was the first response digital test. I bought a box of three. So, but before I used any of those, I still took another cheapy one. I took like four more cheapy ones before I used the, the, the first response digital test. Every line came up darker and darker and darker. And I remember telling my best friends like, yo, I think I'm pregnant. But yeah, I was still in denial. So I was like, you know what? My fiance is home. And I thought, I thought all this true. Now, mind you, like months ago, before we even decided like, yo, we ready to get pregnant or whatever, whatever. Like months before that, I had a dream about how I told him I was pregnant. So this is the only reason why I was not like sharing it with him as I was going because I was like, if I actually am, I want to tell him the way I told him in my dream. It might sound corny to you guys, but yeah, that's what happened. I was like, you know what, he's home, so the following morning, I'm just gonna wake up mad early and take the test to see if I'm really pregnant. So I set my alarm, I think for like 5 a.m. We usually wake up like six. So I set it for like 5 a.m. outside, everything's still dark. So I sneak out the bed. The night before, I had done hide the actual pregnancy test under the bathroom sink. I like cracked it up and hid it somewhere underneath the bathroom sink so i don't have to make noise that early morning when i want to take the test i even i even hide like plastic cups underneath the sink and all so that morning like 5 a.m i woke up went in the bathroom using my phone flashlight because i didn't want to turn on the light to you know wake him up by accident or anything i pee in the cup stick the first response thing in the cup and i'm sitting in the <laughs> I'm sitting on the toilet and my heart is literally beating out of my chest like I was so nervous and anxious a couple minutes later lo and behold big and broad on the stick it says pregnant I almost lose I almost lost my shits now think about it like this right there are people who are not ready to be pregnant and get positive tests and probably feel all crazy inside I wanted to and I still was in denial and anxious and nervous like i was literally shaking so when i see pregnant on there i was like wow like i was so shocked so i was like okay i put the cover on the test <clears throat> wrapped it back up and i think i hid it back underneath the bathroom sink and went i crawled back in bed trying to go back to sleep until 6 a.m it didn't work i literally laid there like just thinking and feeling anxious and I just couldn't I couldn't go back to sleep and all I did was basically plan in my mind how I'm gonna tell him so now fast forward this is still Tuesday I went to work you know I told my best friends like yo I'm pregnant for real I sent them a picture of the actual digital test and um, I was like I gotta tell him today because this ain't something I could keep from him I First of all, I suck at keeping secrets and I suck even worse at keeping secrets from him because we talk about everything all the time. So I was like, I have to tell him today, like today, today. And that the next day we was actually driving to Georgia to my brother's house for Thanksgiving. So I was like, yo, he has to know 
because while we dare he has to be my little cover as to why i'm not drinking and why i feel a certain way or why i'm acting a certain way that afternoon on my lunch break i went and bought these little like it's, it's little little cards you can write on because in my head how i wanted to tell him was um well in my dream how i told him was uh he wasn't home and i had a note on the door that says in the shower i have something in the oven please check on it for me so <laughs> so um and then when he gets wait how did i do it i cannot remember now yo i'm gonna just tell y'all the gist of it i cannot remember so anyways i know that was the note on the door but there was several more notes before he got to the actual oven so it was like notes leading him to the kitchen and then he's supposed to open the oven to check on whatever was baking then in the oven i actually had the pregnancy test in a little box with the card that says not in this oven and then he see the pregnancy test that says pregnant so that's how i told him um that tuesday night <laughs> how in order for me to set all of that up i sent him to the store and told him like i'm craving juice and because usually when my period come in i just want juice i don't drink juice on a regular basis but when my period come in i want juice for some reason so i sent him to the store to get some juice and he went of course so while he was gone i set all of that up and um i timed him because it was like a Publix right next to our apartment complex and i turned the shower on in the bathroom and i just basically hid behind the door with the lights on to act like if i was in the shower and i had my little phone to record him i probably still have footage from it but the footage is horrible because i was so nervous that my hand was shaking so much so i doubt i'll insert it i came out of the bathroom when he got as far as the kitchen because the bathroom was like across from the kitchen and i when he opened the oven i was standing behind him with the camera or with my phone and he turned around and was like there was like a huge smile on his face it was like for real and you know he hugged me and kissed me and all that stuff so yeah anyways that is how i found out i was pregnant it started off with a big ass disagreement me almost knocking my fiance out and a bunch of lower back pains <laughs> that's how it started yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little story time if you like to see more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you want. And you guys will see me in my next one. Peace. Man, we spec when you talk to uh, anybody come wrong playing. Uh, uh, man says she got me hooked to uh, Oh, this is perfect And it's magic and everything